Hey guys, I'm Alvin, and welcome back to another One More Week to Go trip report. Today I'll be keeping my travels within Canada, taking a domestic flight from Toronto to Vancouver. Starting off in Toronto, we'll be traveling eastbound, flying over the Great Lakes and across the central provinces of Manitoba, Saskatchewan, and Alberta before arriving in my hometown province of British Columbia, a total distance of over 3,300 kilometers. Let's get right to the boarding. As I'm traveling in the business cabin today, I was able to board as part of Zone 1 in Air Canada's Zone Boarding System. Air Canada's 787 Business Class Cabin features eight rows of reverse herringbone seats in a 1 to 1 configuration. The cabin's got a very clean and Canadian feel to it, with some wood finishing throughout. Now let's take a look at my seat, 4K. One thing I quite like about the seat is the step lock design of the tray table. You can lock it in place in several different positions, which makes it much more practical. The surface area is also quite generous. The noise cancelling headphones are nice and comfortable. Seat position and other features can be controlled via the small touch screen on the side. You can either use the presets or adjust the leg rest and recline separately. You can also adjust the Dreamliner's dimmable windows from here as well. Reading lamp can also be controlled here. If you don't want to bother with the screen, there's some classic buttons with presets to the left. The onboard literature consists of the safety card, an aeroplan brochure, duty-free catalog, and an in-flight magazine. While the leg rest itself is a bit small, you have plenty of leg room even for taller passengers. Beneath that is some storage space that I typically use for blankets. Over to the side, you'll also find an LED reading lamp. The cabin lights were dimmed as we prepared for departure. Engine number one was started before pushing back from the gate. If you need additional information, please refer to the safety features card located in your seat pocket or magazine rack. In your safety and comfort, we ask that you pay attention to this short video. As we climb to our cruising altitude, let's take a look at Air Canada's in-flight entertainment. If you've seen my A220 Air Canada video, this will look quite familiar. As I've said before, the interface is very modern and easy to navigate, and the selection of content is very generous. I especially love the fact that you can skip ads as well. Another cool feature of the iFee is the ability to view the flight map in different modes, picture-in-picture, -picture, full screen, or handset. Here's a demo of the picture-in-picture -picture mode, and here it is in full screen. Most of Air Canada's Dreamliners come equipped with onboard Wi-Fi. However, I didn't purchase it on this flight as the prices were a bit steep. Meal service began about an hour into the flight. Let's have a look at the menu. I started off the meal with some lightly salted nuts, a cranberry juice, and a spicy tomato. The appetizer was a refreshing yellowfin tuna poke rice bowl, along with a side of bread. The poke bowl wasn't the most flavorful, but it definitely felt like a very healthy option. For the main dish, I opted for the salmon and creamy herb sauce, which was quite nice.
Having still some room for dessert, I asked for a serving of fruits, as well as this milk chocolate praline cream puff with sun-dried cherry compote. The presentation wasn't that great, but it did taste good. Of course, I finished off the meal with a coffee. Welcome to the washroom. It's pretty spacious and very clean, and features some Canadian designs on the wall. Vitruvi amenities, including face mist and hand cream, are provided. Even though it's dark outside, I really appreciated the presence of a window here. It really helps to make the bathroom feel a lot more roomy. Back in my seat, let's go through the amenity kit provided by Air Canada. In terms of content, it's pretty standard stuff. Eye shades, socks, dental kit, and earplugs. The rest of the flight was pretty uneventful, so I'll leave you with a nighttime approach into YBR. Overall, I was quite impressed with Air Canada's business class on the 787. Everything felt really spacious, from the seat, the cabin, and even the washroom. With a great IFE system, a friendly crew, and a comfortable seat, flying across the country with Air Canada was a great experience. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, thanks for watching, happy travels, and I'll see you in the next one.